My allergies is really fucking with me right now. Y'all know who the fuck this is. This is the real AIX. Now, I'm going to tell you about my weakness to YouTube. This is the truth. I got fed up with this motherfucker several times. Of course, I'm hiding my face in the darkness so people won't know my true identity. So, you know, it's like I said in the video. I leave <laughs> and motherfuckers bring me back in. It's like a responsibility. It's like a high. And when you make a difference, and somebody tell you you made a difference, that's like somebody just like, man, you're not what people say you are. When you, when you've made people comment and and and, and frustrated people, when when somebody call you out your name and shit, it's a buzz. You can get high off the negativity alone. You could. That's that's what drive. That's what drives you too. Hey, how do you like my garden? Fuck you, you fat ugly slob. You shouldn't even have a garden. And you're like, what? And then you do another video. And then your next video, you'll be like, I wore my jeans today. You know, I think you know the the way Levi's are made now compared to last week. Fuck you, you fat son of a bitch. And it's, it's, it's like, you're like, what? This is my cat, Fluffy. And, you know, me and Fluffy, like, you know, going to the beach. All right, fucking cat, you're probably trying to fuck it. You're like, what? And then you do another video. And all the negative shit, all the, all the negative shit you get on YouTube. I, I, that's why I think it's a setup. It's a setup because all the negative shit you get out of YouTube, and then BAM! Somebody say something nice. You're like, oh shit. It's like playing fucking bingo. I-9. You waiting for, for B-2. B, damn this shit on yourself. <laughs> it's a trip. It's a buzz. I could see motherfuckers getting seriously addicted to this shit. I ain't lying to you. I left YouTube. Fuck YouTube, nigga. Shit, motherfucker. Oh, like I said, I'm finna stop cussing because I got young people watch my show now. People want to try to show some respect. So I'm gonna just cut down on the, the harsh cursing. Here it goes. YouTube is addictive because the people that stand behind you are real and the people that hate you are fake. And it's overwhelmingly obvious who the fake people are. Who the frauds are. Who the artificial versus the real. And it's fun to see motherfuckers try to oop, to see people try to play games. And then it's like, like you said, it's the game. You comment on a video, I comment on a video, we get some flack. It's like the stock market. You hit the right video, bam, you blow it up. How can I help you? Yes, yes, I will try a Subway pastrami sandwich so I can. I know, but I want to lose weight, you know, eating Subway. So get extra meat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the foot long put extra meat on it and maybe a couple peppers other than that I'm trying to lose weight yep 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 hot pastrami well, yeah yeah give me the pastrami you know American cheese I, you know I have to have American cheese any other cheese yeah mustard that American cheese is white. Hold on, hold on, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Hello? Yeah. Say that again. There, some ways American cheese is white. What? But it's American. It's white American cheese. It's strange, but yeah. It's strange, but it is. Okay, give me some so, white American cheese. 
So the, the soft roll with mustard, pastrami, American <sighs> cheese, and peppers. Oh, yes, baby. Eat it. Yes, baby. All right. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. Damn, that sounds good. Wait, it threw me off. See, YouTube is a trip. How the hell am I going to do a, a conversation on the phone with my beautiful, luxurious wife? And, damn, white cheese. I didn't know the American cheese at Subway was white. That's, man. Hmm. I'll do my research a little better. So, listen, the addiction to YouTube is for real. Motherfuckers think they. Uh, the addiction to YouTube is real. And like I said, there's ups and downs. It's like being on a roller coaster. And when you comment on these videos, I'm telling you, it's like playing the stock market. And if you got a brain in your head, that's the only clue I can give you. So I'm going to start trying to play the stock market because I got plans. And I'm going to make one statement that I always make when I'm talking to real friends and my people. It's not the man in power that wields the power. It's the men and women that can manipulate the people in power in order to use the power in the manner in which they see fit. Do you understand what I'm saying? So while you're sitting there getting high off YouTube, understand this, baby. You ain't the only person on YouTube who got something to do. A lot of people are extremely hooked. Like I said, the negative quotes alone is enough to piss you off and make you do more and more. It's an adrenaline-filled high they're giving us. What do you call me? Notice, there's never any real people behind those words. So motivation can be given to us blindly, and therefore addiction can be handed out. If I'm going to it excite you. I'm touching a part of your brain to make you do something. To make you want to come back and, and say something. See, YouTube is not just an addiction. It's a manipulation. And whenever a situation manipulates another situation, it creates a, you know, a place for your mind to go when you should be doing other things. That's exactly YouTube. I figured it out. YouTube is the next great distraction. First it was the TV. Then the TV spawned into the video game. TV started faltering reality shows. YouTube. YouTube is a perpetual reality show where everybody can watch everybody's individual Jerry Springer. YouTube is addiction. So, hey, how do I come up with these conclusions? Am I a philosopher? I'm a realist. And if you can create a link or point a link out, the link can be made to anything that you have in your imagination. And what is your imagination right now? Your imagination is trying to figure out what you can say and do to affect others on YouTube. It's very simple. If an uneducated black man from California can make people think differently, then that's different in itself. When a poor person can get on YouTube and have a moment in time when a, a little young gay man can cry about his favorite star and earn a million dollars. YouTube is also a lottery ticket and everybody can play this game. Am I making you think differently again? Some people strive just to be seen and just to be noticed and some people just want to be heard. What are you going to do? How are you going to do? How are you going to do your YouTube? And, no, you've been tubed.